Hey everyone, my name is Kareem El Jamali. I'm a Principal Solutions Architect at Aviatrix, part of the Aviatrix Certified Engineer ACE Learning and Certification Program. As more and more companies move mission critical workloads to the cloud, the need for networking experts to build and operate cloud networking is greater than ever before. Thus, we believe that the ACE program generally and ACE professional is a step in the right direction at both the individual and the organizational level to enhance and deepen the knowledge in cloud networking. We help network engineers become heroes in cloud networking. Now that we have laid down this foundation, the specific goal behind this video is to go briefly over the personas that might benefit from as well as the topics that we go over in ACE Professional. Let's go over some high-level details of the course. The training is around 24 hours, over three days, with nine labs, tons of whiteboarding. At the end, we expose students to real-world customer requirements through design exercises, ensuring they have a solid grasp of the material. Now, let's have a look at the personas that might benefit the most from attending the course. If you're a cloud solutions architect, or a network engineer, or are tasked with deploying, architecting, or maintaining cloud infrastructure, then this training is for you. We generally have folks from customers, partners, and managed service providers. Do you need advanced routing capabilities, NAT to deal with overlapping addresses, or simply advanced visibility and troubleshooting at your fingertips beyond what the CSPs provide? Are you having to manage and operate infrastructure across multiple cloud service providers without any guidance on proper network and security architecture. As for the topics we will cover in the course. First, we will start by revisiting the different components of the Aviatrix platform, focusing on the Aviatrix airspace, which is the data plane component of the solution, and explaining how it can span regions, accounts, and public clouds. We also touch upon how we ensure active-active forwarding with active mesh, and how we can perform encryption without compromise with high performance encryption. Next, we go over Aviatrix Edge, which is all about extending the benefits of the Aviatrix airspace to the network edge, which can possibly be your data center, co-locations such as Equinix, or simply any location that needs to connect to the applications and services across the multi-cloud. Another key topic is site to cloud which is about connecting Aviatrix to third-party components such as routers, firewalls, as well as SD-WAN solutions. Network segmentation enables multiple tenants to run as ships in the night on top of a common infrastructure, addressing the common need of separating dev and prod workloads and maintaining this separation across multiple CSPs. Next, we will look at service insertion Aviatrix's intelligent networking has immensely simplified the insertion of Layer 4 to Layer 7 services into the path of traffic, including the bring-up, bootstrapping, and monitoring of third-party next-generation firewalls such as Palo Alto, Checkpoint, and Fortinet. We also discuss vertical and horizontal scaling, which are two newly announced capabilities embedded within the platform to respond to variation in load. Last, but not least comes distributed firewalling, which is leveraging the Aviatrix airspace and some of the CSP constructs to put a zero trust policy across all our workloads, thereby reducing immensely the attack surface. It is worth noting that this is by no means the full agenda, but a few topics that generally spark the most interest. I hope that I was able to give you a glimpse on the breadth and depth of the ACE professional training. We're looking forward to see you in our classes soon. Thank you.